To watch the latest from India Science, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon to get notifications on all the science related videos. Most scientists say SARS-CoV-2 probably jumped from an animal to humans. Others suspect foul play. The debate on the virus origins has been in the news for quite some time now. So where did SARS-CoV-2 come from? Does it have a natural origin or did it leak from a lab? I'm Nidhi Kumar and you're watching Science Time, a show that brings to you the best that science offers from exciting developments in science and technology to futuristic solutions. Let's get started. We move on to story number one. The US, Australia and the European Union and Japan have called for a thorough investigation into SARS-CoV-2's origins in China. And other scientists believe that the theory that the virus has a natural origin. That is because most infectious diseases begin with spillover from nature, HIV, influenza epidemics and the coronaviruses that caused the SARS epidemic starting in 2002 are well-known examples. Bats are known carriers of coronaviruses. However, SARS-CoV-2 has a 96% genetic match with the bat coronavirus. This led some scientists to believe that an intermediary host passed on the virus from bats to humans. Well, the identity of the intermediate host is still unknown, giving rise to the lab leak theory. Proponents of the theory point towards other suspicious factors too. Some say that it is no coincidence that COVID-19 was first detected in Wuhan, where the Wuhan Institute of Virology is located. Others argue that the virus contains unusual features, indicating that humans perhaps engineered it. While the question needs to be carefully investigated, we should remember that identifying the true origins of the virus is indeed an artist's task. It took 14 years to nail down the source of the SARS epidemic, SARS-CoV. The virus spread to humans from bats, most likely through civets. So believing that the virus is lab made simply because we haven't identified the animal host is premature. Also, most researchers so far have deemed a genetically engineered origin improbable for many reasons, including a lack of signatures of genetic manipulation. At the moment, it is tough to rule out either theory. We'll have to wait and see how the investigation plays out until we have definitive answers, let's try not to encourage or circulate baseless conspiracy theories. And let's move on, you and I, to story number two. Several atypical COVID-19 symptoms and post-COVID complications have emerged in the recent past. If that wasn't enough distress, many infected patients have also had to deal with depression, anxiety, and neurological problems. In a new study, researchers found symptoms such as depression are quite common in patients. The scientists analyzed data gathered from 215 studies on COVID-19 from 30 countries to arrive at this finding. And the researchers found evidence that the infection could affect mental health and the brain. And what's alarming? is that people with mild COVID-19 also experience some of these symptoms. Here's a breakdown of the symptoms. Anosmia or loss of smell, weakness, fatigue, dysgeusia or loss of taste, myalgia or muscle pain, depression, headache, anxiety, ischemic stroke, a brain damage caused by a blockage in an artery that supplies blood to the brain. Hemorrhagic stroke, which is bleeding in the brain caused by a ruptured blood vessel. Seizure. The researchers speculate that these symptoms could be equally prevalent in mild cases. 
These patients reported experiencing fatigue, loss of smell, muscle pain, loss of taste and headaches. All of this begs the question, how is COVID-19 impacting the brain and the mental health? The researchers don't have an answer yet, but a few theories could explain the link. Isolation during sickness might be triggering depression and anxiety. And as for other neurological symptoms, factors such as inflammation and impaired oxygen delivery to the brain might be responsible. And lead author Dr. Jonathan Rogers said in a statement, These findings serve as a reminder that we should not let our guard down. Please get yourself vaccinated and continue following COVID-19 appropriate behavior." Unquote. And we move on to story number three. And we saved a mystery for the last bit of our episode. According to a new study, a mysterious event that occurred about 19 million years ago threatened to wipe out sharks. Only a few sharks managed to escape death. This is alarming. Sharks have managed to survive at least about four mass extinctions according to National Geographic. Clues of the extinction event over 19 million years ago are buried in the seabed. The researchers looked for shark scales called denticles in the Pacific Ocean. These denticles are scales that protect the shark's eyes and bodies. The organism sheds roughly about 100 denticles for every lost tooth, making them common in fossil records. Denticles can tell us a great deal about shark population. So the researchers tracked their numbers over the years. And sometime about 19 million years ago, the level of denticles dropped. The researchers found out one denticle for every 100 fish teeth, suggesting that the shark population declined by almost 90%. Researchers are racking their brains, trying to figure out what could have triggered this event. There is no evidence to suggest that the Earth witnessed a sudden change in climate or an asteroid impact at that time. Even now, sharks are not out of the woods. Overfishing, bycatch and the demand for shark fins are endangering these organisms. Since 1970, the population of oceanic sharks and rays has dropped by 71% according to a study published in Nature. Sharks help keep the planet habitable. They help phytoplankton grow. And phytoplankton are microscopic organisms that produce about 50 to 70% of the global oxygen. They also protect sea grasses which absorb atmospheric carbon dioxide. And perhaps it's time we do our bit to save the sharks from extinction. And with that friends, this is a wrap of this edition of Science Time. Stay with us every Friday at 9pm and keep watching India Science. Namaskar.